Condo versus co-op in New York City. Understanding the difference between condos and co-ops is something every New York City home buyer must know. It's almost as important as knowing that you can save thousands on your New York City property purchase by requesting a buyer's agent commission rebate from housing. So what's the difference between a condo and a co-op? One, co-op ownership is not a form of real property ownership. New York City home buyers who purchase a co-op apartment actually purchase shares of stock in a corporation that owns the co-op. Owners of condos are considered owners of real property just like any homeowner in the rest of the country. Two, there are more co-ops than condos in New York City. Over 75% of apartments in New York City are co-ops. Three, condos are much more expensive than co-ops. New York City condos cost 10 to 40% more than co-ops. Four, closing costs are much higher for condos than for co-ops. New York City condos have buyer closing costs, which are roughly 2% higher than for comparable co-ops. Five, co-ops have the most rigorous buyer board application process. New York City co-ops have a rigorous board application and review process for potential buyers. Buyer rejections for co-ops are much more common than for condos. Six, co-ops have higher monthly maintenance charges. Monthly maintenance charges for co-ops are often higher than monthly common charges levied by condos. Seven, co-ops have stricter sublet rules than condos. Co-ops often restrict an owner's ability to sublet or rent the unit. Which is better? Whether a co-op or a condo is better depends on your personal situation. Regardless of what you buy, make sure you request a New York City Commission rebate from Houset. A buyer's agent commission rebate can save you tens of thousands of dollars on your property purchase in New York City.